so today we're making these letters for your room so you will need your mom's help okay so what you're going to need is a letter and these can be purchased at Walmart I think they were a dollar fifty you're going to need some washi of your favorite colors some tacky glue or regular school glue then a few sequins or stickers and pretty paper okay so let's start you're gonna grab your letter you're gonna find your favorite piece of paper I am gonna be using some glitter one too but I'm gonna show you what I did with the glitter one because I already cut it so we're gonna face the paper backwards and we're gonna put the letter backwards and we're gonna line it up and then you're going to grab a pencil or a pen I don't have a pencil right now so we're gonna do a pen and you're just going to trace around it try to stay really close to the edge really close and oh see I'm not going straight but it's okay just try to stay really close and the reason why we're drawing on the back is because if we mess up the lines when we cut it you can't see it and now line the inside and there we go we have our letter A backwards so we're gonna flip it back over and we're going to cut this and when you cut try to cut on the purple line not inside the purple line, but on the purple line. Or on your pencil line. Mine says purple. <laughs> and we cut. And I think you guys could do this, but you might need your mom's help when we cut the middle part. But I'm going to show you a trick of what we could do so we don't have to really cut that inside part. Because sometimes that part is hard, hard to cut out. Okay. So we're, we're almost done. See right there? Just try to stay on the purple line. If your mom can't help, have your older sister or brother help you. <laughs> so there we go. Depending on, the, on your name, some letters are super easier to do than others but I am making an A today and the A is for Ariel and Aiden <laughs> so they're going to be getting these beautiful letters okay and the M or oh I think I'm dropping things and the M is for McKenna Oops, I still have some, it's still not dry. Okay. So, this part, oh, <laughs> this part right here is hard to cut out because you have to either use one, a little knife or something. But what I did, I did this. I just want to use this side of the paper. So I just went and cut off that part. And you have two parts, and then you could use it right there. Or if you want to use this part instead, you could cut this out. Cut it out. And then use that part right there. Or you could even put them back together. <laughs> and then we could decorate them. That's the easiest way to do it. That way you don't need to do too much. But I did this already with the blue. Glittery blue. So that's what we're going to use. Let's cut this out again. Okay. Okay, so we're doing we're going to be doing two letters at a time. Okay, there we have it. One's gonna have this part, the other one's gonna have the other part. Okay. So what I do, I grab some glue and I put it where I'm gonna put the paper. 
and you could have a brush, you could use your finger. I'm not going to use my finger today. I'm going to use this little foam thing and just brush it so it spreads out throughout the whole letter or throughout the area you want to glue. Okay, then we're going to glue the piece that we cut and try to make sure it lines up. And before you let it sit, you can still move it around because that glue doesn't dry yet. And there we have one side. And this one we're going to use the other side. And there we go. Oh, you know what? This letter was a bit bigger. See? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll add to it. Okay. So there we go. We have that. Two letters. Now, this letter, we are going to add some washi. So we have pretty, pretty blue washi. And it's big enough for us to cut. If I could peel it. <laughs> okay. Come on, tape. Come on, tape. And then we're going to... Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Cut a piece off. And then we're going, oops, if it doesn't get stuck. We're going to put it on this one. And we're going to line it up with the inside. And then we're going to press down, press down. And right here, we're going to fold that right there. That way we could cut that off later. And then right here, we're going to cut that too. And all you have to do is flip it over, cut on the edge, and then there we have it. And if you want to save your washi pieces, save them because you could add them for other things. Now we're going to do the same thing right here. See where we fold it? We're going to fold it and then we're going to lift it up. And you can see the crease where the line is. And we just are going to... Through. Cut all the way through, yeah. Okay, and then we let it go down there. Okay. Now, I want to add some pretty stripe washi. Ah, if I could come off. Okay. You know what? Let's use the flower washi because we're using flowers. And let's find the end. And there we go. There's the end or the beginning. <laughs> now we're going to add washi right there and you cut it off and since it's so thin you could use another row and you decide how you want to put it and I'm going to put it right there and we could use another one if we want and I'm going to use another one over here Okay, now we press down, make sure the washi stuck to the thing, to the wood piece, and then we're going to go around and just cut the extra pieces off. There we go, we just push those down, and then we have it. Now let's put some pretty one in here, and I think I'm going to use the striped one there. And I'm going to cut it into pieces and apply it sideways. There we go. Now this one this way. Okay. And we'll cut the extra off later. You know what? Let's do that right now. Okay. So we just... Have too much stuff right here. We're going to cut right there, cut right there, and take that off. And then we're gonna cut over here. There we 
we go. Just press everything down. And you have that. Now, do you see all these little pieces? Because in order to get to those pieces, you kind of have to have a little um, X-Acto knife. But we don't want to do that. Because we want you to, you to do it without your mommy's help. So, what I do is I have some of these pretty little shapes. I'm going to grab some of our tacky glue, which is our very sticky, sticky glue. I'm going to put a little bit wherever I think there's spots, like right there, right there, right there. And I'm going to stick things onto it. And we could do a butterfly. We could do a, another light color butterfly right there. Then we could use some flowers, some right there. Maybe we could use one of those. Where is my flower? I had a pretty flower and it disappeared. Oh, where'd it go? Hmm. Okay, never mind. I can't find my flowers. I had a well, not, we'll use some of these beautiful ones. We could use this one right there. Maybe we could use a butterfly. There we go. Just press everything down. Now we want to put something over here. We could put some more washi, some thin washi. Use this pink, purplish pink one. And I need to find the end. There we go. We're going to cut a piece. And we're going to put it at the end. That way we could cover part of that wood that we could still see. If we could, we could move the sticker, we have to. As long as we get that cover. I should have done for that first, but we could just move this that way. There we go. Maybe we could add some of this one up here we all we have to do is flip it over and cut cut and cut and we see this little part right here we just rip it off there we go We could put, what else can we put? We could put some of these big sequins. So I'm thinking, let's just go crazy with the glue. Let's go crazy with the glue right here. Mm, it won't come out. Ah, oh, my glue's empty. Oh, there it goes. Put some glue there, and this is what we do. We put some sequins. Just stick them there and put a little bit more glue right here. Let's add a blue one. There we go. And we have a finished A full of different things. Okay. Now just put it aside and let it dry. Now let's finish this one. And we cover most of the letter with the paper. You could do that, cover the whole paper with the letter. Or um, 
You can cover all with the washi. I am going to be using this and you know what? We're going to cover all with sequins. We're going to use all these. So what you're going to do is put glue all over the place. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, the glue's not coming out. There we go. Okay. Now, grab sequins. Start putting them in different colors. There we go. See how easy that is? Now, for example, Aiden and Ariel, they love soccer. Ariel likes gymnastics and soccer, but they both play soccer. So, for Aiden, I'm going to make a soccer ball. So, what you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to grab one of your washi tapes. You're going to use your pen or pencil. We're going to draw inside to make a circle. We're going to cut our circle out. Let me get rid of this stuff right here. Okay. And the washi that stuck to my scissors. Ah. We are going to cut the circle. And then we're going to draw a soccer ball. And you know what? I don't know how to draw a soccer ball. A soccer ball. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to try to remember what it looks like. The thing is, the black ones are pentagons. And we just color it in. And then we go over here. And we color it in. We just, and then we go over here. Just make another one and color it in and see just make it look like a soccer ball it doesn't have to be perfect because no it's sometimes it's hard to make it exactly how it is because yeah so there's our soccer ball and we could um let's see where's where the eagle oh there it goes and we could stick it down there Oh, the mailman's here. I hear him. Oh, I hear the dog is barking. Whenever the mailman walks by, they're walking. Okay. Then we go right there. And there we have it. A beautiful letter full of sequins, a soccer ball, and all the fun stuff. You guys could make it your own. Maybe you could add some bugs or some cars or some airplanes. Should we add some airplanes? Let's see. Where are my stickers? Oh, there we go. We have some stickers. I'm going to see what stickers I have. What about some owls? Or we could add some frogs or a bug. Or we could add some lollipops. Or some dinosaurs. I think I have dinosaurs. What about dinosaurs? Look, aren't those cool? Let's add some dinosaurs. I'm going to add the Triceratops. A lot of Triceratops. I think it is. We're going to put him on top of the soccer ball. Then we're going to put maybe a T-Rex. I think it looks like a T-Rex. We could put it right there. <laughs> and we could have a pterodactyl, is that what they're called? I'm not sure. You guys could let me know. 
And there we go. See, now I have dinosaurs and soccer balls and beautiful colors. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Let's bring them back, all, all the letters back here. We have the A for Aiden, and the A for Ariel, and the M for McKenna. Let's see. Can we move them closer so we can see them? Yay! <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!